Let's do another great comment from the imaging video. JM says, I believe you mean well, but these scans are not preventative. They have little utility in the absence of symptoms because there are no surgical interventions that mitigate heart attack risk. Their only real potential use is in scaring people into living the lifestyle they should be living in the first place. Otherwise, there's really no point in knowing. So JM, I believe you mean well too, but when people say these scans don't change anything, you're missing the entire playbook of what we actually do differently once we see plaque. And every one of these moves is backed by trial data. And you're absolutely right. None of them are surgical or procedural. Hi guys, Dr. Lily Johnston here, vascular surgeon on a mission to prevent cardiovascular disease through metabolic health. So let's get into it. First, if imaging shows atherosclerosis, we do better with fundamentals. Motivating people and their doctors to control risk should not be underestimated. The Eisner trial showed us that lifestyle and risk factor control improved more when people actually saw their calcium score. And the COT CAD trial showed that CAC guided prevention lowered estimated 10 year ASCVD risk. Second, plaque on imaging is the moment that lipid lowering goes from maybe to yes, and from regular targets to aggressive targets. So, HOPE 3 showed that we reduced events, and the Jupiter trial also showed that we reduced events even when LDL was normal, but there was inflammation and subclinical disease. Third, plaque plus specific risk factor treatment is highly effective. So a couple of examples, let's use the reduce it trial where icosapent ethyl cut major cardiovascular risk in high triglyceride patients with uh, on statin therapy. And the sprint trial showed that intensive blood pressure control reduced heart attacks, strokes, heart failure, and mortality in a high risk group. So no, imaging isn't just more information or more tests. It's actually a fork in the road that lets us deploy proven therapies earlier with precision and leads to far better outcomes than waiting for the heart attack to show up first.